Enterprise Architects Ribbon provides all the tools you need to explore and edit your models and customise the modelling environment itself. Consider the purpose of each ribbon. The Start Ribbon helps you dive into the model to explore it and collaborate with your team members. So you find tools such as the Project Browser for navigating the model, also the ability to communicate with team members via model discussions, model mail and the shared calendar. You also have access to EA's online help resources, just some of the things to get uh, started here. The Design Ribbon is for building, refining and restructuring the model, so you can add and edit packages, diagrams and elements. You can also perform impact analysis with various traceability and analysis tools. You'll use the Layout Ribbon to manage the appearance of your visual model, your diagrams. So you could change the drawing mode to suit your audience, for example, uh, hand-drawn or uh, even whiteboard mode. And you can align and format uh, elements and relationships on the diagram, apply filters and so forth. The Specialized Ribbon contains specialist tools for database engineering, uh, generating XML schemas or defining message structures, and you'll use this ribbon to also integrate with uh, external data sources, and it provides access to the various plugins and extensions you're using with EA. From the published ribbon, you'll generate documentation from your model in the form of Word or PDF documents, or as HTML or web-based reports. And you can quickly export diagrams to image files. You can import and export model data for use with other tools or another enterprise architect project. The Construct ribbon will help you to find project resources and their tasks. The Simulate, Code and Execute ribbons help you to bring your model to life. So you can simulate models to verify that the system design behaves according to spec, even vary parameters prior to implementation. Features in the code ribbon facilitate forward and reverse code engineering. And you can work directly with source files in the modeling environment. Tools in the Execute ribbon analyze, profile, and debug running programs. Say you have a legacy application that you need to understand and document. Well, the Execute tools will help you visualize its runtime behavior. In the Configure ribbon, you'll set up uh, team roles and version control and configure your project and its metadata. Other items of note include the Application menu and the Show panel. So you can use the application menu to open and create your modeling projects. And the show panel, which is present across all of the ribbons, provides the portals for access to things like perspectives and EA's various uh, windows and views. I want to show you just two of the um, portals in the start page. You have the guidebook and learning portals to help you find out more. For example, if you click the learning portal, you see the third entry down there is on ribbons. So you can bring up the web-based help to give you a detailed explanation of all of Enterprise Architect's ribbons. And a final tip, you can use the application menu search bar or the find command control there to type in the name of a feature you're looking for. Say, for example, we want to do traceability. I type in trace. It brings up the relevant tools and I can click to open EA's traceability window and then perform a trace easily.